last week i made a video on best wordpress hosting and many people started asking me that although you have suggested a bundle of good hosting companies with the cons and pros but which hosting do you use so uh, today uh, let me be honest with you that uh, i'm using multiple hosting companies uh, to try to experiment on how do they work and uh, depending upon the functions and features but if you personally ask for my own blog aliaza.co uh, which hosting i use i personally use uh, hostinger for uh, my services so i personally use hostinger for uh, my domain and uh, uh, for different services so if you ask me <laughs> is i'm satisfied with hostinger which plan i opted for and what functions do i get what are the cons and what are the pros of hostinger web hosting which features do i like of it and which features i don't like so in this video i will be discussing uh, step by step in detail regarding why i opted for hostinger and what are the cons and pros of uh, this hosting and why do i like it and why i don't like it so be with me on this so when you are choosing a hosting company you actually focus on few factors before deciding either sh- uh, shall i opt for that hosting company or not for many people price is the number one priority for s- many people price comes in second number four number one is the uptime of the uh, hosting company how reliable the hosting company is how fast the hosting company is uh, what are the complaints of a hosting company like uh, how and how do they tackle support and what functions or features i exclusively get with a good hosting company so i know i understand that these features of these features are definitely very important when it comes to deciding of any hosting company be it hosting or any hosting company i'm not saying that these are only valuable for hosting company but for any hosting company these are very important so i will be explaining but let's start with the hostinger process first so let me open hostinger here so definitely in the end of the video i may recommend ho- hosting it and if you buy from my link i may be paid for it so if you don't mind you can buy from my link in case if you make a plan to buy from hosting it no issues if you don't uh, make a plan i understand that so let's move on to the hosting so in the last video i explained as well that uh, the types of hosting what are okay i understand that they have two plans uh, one is a web hosting and one is a wordpress hosting wordpress hosting is uh, you can see as you can see their plans let me make myself shorter so for wordpress hosting they have 1 2 3 4 4 plans starting from dollar 1.99 dollar dollar 2.99 dollar 3.99 and goes to 11.59 dollars keep in mind that these prices are for annual rentable first plan has one website 50 gb uh, ssd storage 10000 monthly with it second has 100 websites which is actually a very good uh, in if you ask me there is no point of buying a single wordpress rather go for 100 website with a mere 1 dollar difference you have an option to add 100 sites on your account without paying anything additional so that is actually a much option if you are a beginner but if you have an optimized or a website which has already good amount of data storage on your you can opt for the second plan that is a 3.9 3.9 you can also opt for a web regular web hosting and can host your wordpress websites over there as well there are no issues their plans are 1.99 2.99 and 3.99 dollars and 3.99 dollars so uh, again the 1.9 plan has one website the second one has a 100 website i will never in a day will recommend to opt for you for even if you plan to host a one website i will still recommend to opt for the second or third plan why because in the second or third plan you you don't know you are starting right now with the one website you may you don't know you may even need to host another website or you may need start providing a posting services or whatever so just a mere of $1 difference doesn't make much so in case uh, if $1 is not a big issue for you so go for the plan of $2.99 but in case if you plan to only host wordpress over there go for the wordpress hosting 
it's recommended you can still offer the regular web hosting as well but the wordpress hosting is better in case if you still want to host only but you don't know you may need to host other websites as well uh, all are not based on wordpress so in that scenario uh, the regular web hosting can be a better option as well so they have unlimited bandwidth free email unlimited databases uh, that also has a the basic plan also has just a one email account limit that is actually a bad limit as well same here in the wordpress plan as well one email account so that is actually a bad limit which is why i'm not recommending the first plan either if you go with a single wordpress hosting or either if you go with a uh, regular web hosting so ho now let's move on to the hostinger admin panel i will move you to my hostinger admin panel where i will show you my account and what kind of a functions and features i can see on my account so be with me on this so this is the admin panel of the free web uh, i mean the hostinger admin panel i still have a free claim uh, claim a free domain option available which i haven't claimed yet but uh, here you see that uh, I opted in the 2021, 11 uh, November 27th, 27th November last year. So I'm using this plan. Uh, okay. So if I have to manage my hosting or change my domain, I will going to select from here. And if I have to manage, okay, they have a separate email panel which I primarily uses. I just have to go to here, manage, and I can see all the emails here. Okay, I have email functions here. Like I can email, do email accounts, internal forwarding, catch all email, import email data. If I have to con configure to my desktop app, I will have to select from here. Get mobile app. I have every option available here. Okay, I can go on and select uh, the email account, and I can see all my accounts here. To move back to my hosting. Okay. So here you go. This is my hosting, and I will select this manage to manage my hosting account. Here I have been told that my server is in North America, and the server locations they are giving me is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight server options they are giving me in case I have to merge from a hosting uh, one server to different host server. I can also opt from here. because actually this is not a uh, you don't need to uh, work on this in case if you are a newbie but uh, in case if you are uh, some professional uh, that is uh, where you need, may need to work on it so okay so from here i can what i can do is um, i can also select plugins security uh, select this for my dashboard where i am right now Okay. Force HTTPS. All requests are being forced to redirect to HTTPS. Increase performance with light light speed cache, which I am going to do right now, and this will increase my. I have multiple options available here. So I can also set SSL certificate, which I have already done. My PHP version, my WordPress version is everything is shown here. Here is my account, email, domain section. So so much data and so much helpful for me that uh, I can do whatever I want here. Even I go over below, I can see other functions, sub domains, park domains, add on websites here. So I can add on the website here, redirects, Cloudflare, website auto installer, import, migrate, error pages, access log, web development. given fiber logo maker so many functions and so many tools here so so many benefits i get this is the database function okay these are not for everyone these are just for uh, professionals or advanced users in case if you don't know you don't need to work on them and just rather focus on the main things which you may be using on your account so let's move on we have now seen so now the complaints part okay yeah for any hosting company the complaint section is very important and uh, you need to be aware of uh, what kind of a complaints uh, you are going to see so the uh, the only complaint that they have is they do not have a dedicated uh, phone support except that uh, there is no issue i'm very good with the email support but in case if you just want to call that is the thing where uh, where they are bad otherwise they are perfect they do not have any problems they do not have any issues 
everything is awesome with the hosting i personally like it i have been using for around 7 to 8 months and you can see that my domain main domain is being hosted on hostinger which is why i recommend uh, you guys as well that hostinger can be a good option so the only complaint that yeah they do have complaint host your website over there but again uh, data are not very high and some complaints are with every hosting company so that can be not a uh, option to change a decision because uh, for a general user it works very uh, perfect so now move on to why i opted for hostinger hosting that may be the question in your mind like why i opted for hostinger hosting so you know uh, because i wanted to try out a new hosting company which is why i opted for uh, hostinger hostinger has a, a very decent very good pricing plans uh, the user control panel is very good very easy to friendly for even a newbies they can uh, manage it very well no issues you won't encounter any issues over it uh, works perfectly fine works like a charm the support is very good and personally over the 7 to 8 months i didn't had even a single error with them and i still have a free domain to <laughs> get with them because on yearly plans you get a free domain as well i still have a pending yearly domain with them which i can claim anytime i want so so far my experience if you ask me is a very good very wonderful very awesome with them so now the question is do i recommend it or not so if you ask me i do recommend it go for uh, go, go if you can go for a hostinger hosting that is a very good hosting i personally recommend you even case if you can go definitely buy, buy the hostinger and uh, there is a link in my description section if you buy from it you will get i think a 90% or very good amount of discount so buy from my link as well and uh, as i told like i may be paid for affiliate commission so i hope you like my video in case share your experience in comments i will be looking forward for your uh, feedback on hostinger in comment section and how did it, how did it went for you so thanks for watching my video and bye bye